everyone. I am super excited today. I got my special edition Glamour and Gold box from Illumicrate. As you can see, there is some damage on the packaging. I hope nothing is broken inside. I have my scoreboard again. I know the fact that will always be correct for me, but yeah, to compare it properly, I'll have to keep that over there. Okay, let's open it. Can you see? Okay. This one is packed. Whoa. It's bigger than a regular one. That, that I can say. This is the spoiler card. I'm, not, I'm going to put that aside. Ooh, which item to show you first. Okay. Black box. Something is moving inside. Oh, I saw the fairy loot items and I saw the mortal cup in there. <laughs> this one is stuck in its packaging. It's not the mortal cup, but it's the sword. But it keeps moving underneath the padding, <laughs> which is why it doesn't come out. It's actually a metal one, so it is. Yeah, yeah, I have it. I have it. Come here. Yeah. Oh. Of the same steel and temper, as joyous as and Durandal. Can you see this? It's the mortal sword. Whoa. Okay, so if I buy the Mortal Cup from people who are selling them from Fairy Loot, then I'll have both of these. Oh, Puffy is about to help me with the box. <laughs> Puffy, what are you doing? I'll put it over here. So, I love this item, and of course I love the fandom. <laughs> like me getting a Harry Potter box that would be the same thing. <laughs> Look Puffy, it's paper. <laughs> okay, the biggest item in here that is... Ooh. It says chain of gold, tea for one. I love drinking tea. So... Whatever it is, it is good for me. Okay, is it a teapot? I see a lid. <laughs> oh my god. Look how oh, beautiful this is. my favorite kind it's it's a teapot with a cup and a plate that it can fit in oh my god tea is always an excuse for clandestine agenda oh ho, 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 ho. I'm gonna use this a lot <laughs> I always love items you can use and I drink a lot of tea so I will use this a lot. It has a fall theme with leaves. See it's a cup where the teapot fits in and then you have a bowl <laughs> and then you have a plate with leaves. This thing is so intricate, I'll bring it a bit closer to you. Can you see that? Oh my god. It has like gold chains. Well, not really chains. Um, fences, that was the word with the fall leaves 
this based on the new book that's in the box that so that also good whoa i think this is the best item i ever saw in a book box oh my god <laughs> okay then the blanket that was spoiled and today I've read that there is like the, the ethnicity of the characters on there isn't completely right but yeah I'll see I was looking forward to this one so much I love blankets for the couch and Rosie Thorns is supposed to have beautiful artwork so this cannot be bad wait where is the beginning of this <laughs> Ooh. well i i think it's another artwork who has problems you see this <laughs> So we have a mirror and I, I guess the sword and the cup. Yeah, the mirror, the sword and the cup. And it's a nice big one. Yeah, this is my new blanket for the couch. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, well, uh, I will already put it in the couch. And what is this? This might be the thing that is... Oh, I forgot scoring it. <laughs> okay, so... The tea mug, it, it deserves two uh, marks for item. Come on, admit it, it's a perfect item. And the blanket. And this, I, I'm not quite sure what it is supposed to be. It has three pieces with artwork. So that only gets something for the fandom because I don't know what to do with it except displaying it. But I don't have a lot of things that is just like displaying it. <laughs> <clears throat> So this is plexiglass, like you can see. Ha, huh, if I can... It will be the characters for, from the last hours, I guess. Or is it going to be Jem, Tessa and Will from the... It, it looks like the trio from the Infernal Devices, especially with the white streak in his hair. And the dress really fits Tessa. So I guess that will be them. Yeah, especially with Tessa holding her necklace like this. The, that's her iron angel, her, her clockwork angel in the necklace. In Dutch, they translated it to iron, so that's my difficulty. <laughs> But this just folds together and that's all it does. You cannot fit something in there, you can only fit it together or display it. So I love the artwork, but I'm not quite sure how this works. And yeah, if this is the item with the wrong ethnicity, Gem is supposed to be Asian. But if that's it, yeah, no. Don't think that's so big of a problem. <laughs> so, this is literally the only thing you can do with it. <laughs> okay. Then we have Shadowhunter Premium Playing Cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I have playing cards since we moved. So, <laughs> actually this is good. <laughs> Every house really needs to have playing cards and if it's it can be shadow center playing cards yeah why the hell not the herondale ring then the other ones are kind of blank like this just golden swirls 
Anna Lightwood. Oh my god, the characters will be on there. Oh my god, Grace Blackthorn. Yeah, she's so beautiful. I can see why James fancies her. Oh, whoa. And James as well. <laughs> the Clockwork Angel. Oh, maybe they will fight with the Clockwork Angel from the original trio. See, the original trio has Jem. Who became Brother Zachariah. And Tessa Gray. And Will Herndale. Church! They even put the cat church in here. Oh my god. I never really thought what to imagine with church except like the thing that... Yeah, they, they were like... Well, it was Jem's cat or, or the cat that Jem... Well, the cat liked Jem the best. That was the thing I got from the book, I, that I still remember from the books. Here you have Thomas Lightwood. Lucy Herndale. Christopher Lightwood. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Jem's violin. The feels, really the feels. <laughs> oh, Alistair Carstairs. Cordelia's brother. And then here we have the red headed Cordelia. Yeah. And Matthew Fairchild. And then the Jokers are like this. Okay, I, I love this deck. I never thought I could say that I love playing cards this much. But this is a beautiful deck. <laughs> People who collect playing cards, you really should get this one. Okay, so that gets the item as well. This is a really good box for items as well. Okay, I see the book. That's one hefty book. <laughs> but there is also a print in here. Oh, two, two prints. Okay. I think this is from the Infernal Devices. With Tessa in the middle. And Jessamine over here. And then... Charlotte and Henry, and then Will and Jem, and then the Gideon and Gabriel, and then, oh, I forgot her name, Will's sister, Cecilia. So this is the <laughs> Infernal Devices gang, and this is the new gang from the last hours. Their children. <laughs> I guess that's who they are. It certainly looks like it. Yeah. Like you see here we have James. Um was it was it Alistair or was it no no it's not Alistair, it's one of the guys who like each other. Who has the glasses. Ah <laughs> uh, those names still really have to settle in my brain. So these are going to come over here. They have gold foiling and yeah, this is bronze foiling. I don't know if you can see that. In here. Can you see that? Yeah, I, I think you can. Okay, so they will come over here because that's from an a series that I know. <laughs> Whoa, okay, 
the infer infernal devices has been my favorite uh, trilogy ever because yeah the victorian setting and the steampunking uh, steampunky setting i love that so for once the a print two prints get a check for item and then we're down to the book <laughs> okay let's see this Orange sprayed pages. I didn't expect them to be orange, but okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> there is no book plate in here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. It doesn't have a dust jacket, but they are always in the way if you are reading it. So that's not bad. This is the sprayed edges. I saw a version with the sword in black in here. I think I would have liked that more. But still, look at this. Especially the cover really... Oh... <gasps> Okay, so orange, orange all the way. <laughs> okay. So I guess this is the new gang. <laughs> there is a Cassandra Clare stamp in here. It is missing something. I, the ones who saw my last unboxing know what is missing. There's no dear reader letter. I really thought there would be one. Oh, it, maybe there it is in here. So, Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare is a naked hardback edition with an exclusive foiled cover quote on the spine oh love love that's deeper than a blade okay stamped with cassandra claire's signature and containing bonus material available in all first edition okay i love bonus material <laughs> Uh, then we have Bridge Through Time Trip It. Well, that's something new. That's the blanket, I think. Oh no, that's the stained glass windows. And this has artwork from Rosie Torrance. Oh, they're supposed to be stained glass. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, designed to look like stained glass windows, this beautiful display piece features our favorite Infernal Devices trio. So I was right about that. Then the Mortal Instruments blanket. That's in the couch. <laughs> Featuring the Mortal Cup, the Mortal Sword and the Mortal Mirror. This is the perfect blanket to curl up under whilst reading Chain of Gold. I will most certainly do that. <laughs> Clandestine tea for one set. Is there anything more English than tea? Now you can enjoy yours from this stunning teapot and teacup set featuring a quote from Chain of Gold. Okay. Mm, good to know that. Then Shadowhunters playing cards. Artwork by Marywald and designs by Chatty Nora, featuring beloved characters and objects from the Infernal Devices as well as the new favorites from Last Hour series that I noticed. <laughs> and then 
one wait, a foiled print duo, one featuring the cast of the Infernal Devices and the other featuring the cast of Chain of Gold. We wouldn't pick between them, so we gave you both, because we're nice like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. I love, uh, yeah, I, I told you, I read the Infernal Devices back to back and I love that. I hope this new series will be as, uh, as wonderful as well. And then Cortana Letter Opener, the Heirloom Carstairs Blade, to be wielded by you to open letters. Oh, so it's not the Mortal Sword, it's the Carstairs Blade. Oh, okay. It's not really sharp to be a letter opener, but yeah. So I can do this <laughs> without hurting myself. Uh, but it is really heavy. It's full metal. You will not break it. So, okay. Photo challenge. The 5th of May is the unboxing. The 6th of May is an art display. The 7th of May is T Blanket Plus. Uh, is Blanket Plus T set. Um, the 8th of May is the trip, trip tip selfie. And then the 9th of May is Chain of Gold with Cortana. With this. Okay. That's it for this box. <laughs> that really took me on a trip. <laughs> Let's put that over here. So the Dear Reader letter is missing, <laughs> but yeah, it was already a great box. So it has sprayed edges and it has the signature from the author. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> a score of 14. <laughs> I think that's like the highest a box ever scored. Most of the Illumi crates are around 10, 9 or 10. I have to admit that. So it is only four more than that, but that's just because I get the fandom. <laughs> okay, so the end. Great items. Oh, great items. I love the items. Okay. Nothing is damaged through the post, which I totally expected it to be. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this box. I am going to read this so fast. <laughs> Bye!